a floating button on your website is very helpful for your website visitors to contact you regarding your services. This floating button over here, as you see, can be a phone call or a book a meeting with you. Okay, so this is a phone call button. If I click on this button, it will initiate a phone call. Okay, and as you let me show you this on mobile devices. So this is how it will appear on mobile over here. And this is how it will appear on tabs. Okay, so this also floating button. And this is how it will appear on your laptop or desktop. Okay, so if you if your website is built using Elementor and Elementor Pro, uh, then you can easily add a floating button like this one over here. Let me show you how to add it. Uh, before I show it to you, uh, in case you don't have Elementor uh, Pro installed, uh, then I would suggest to that you purchase Elementor Pro and install it on your website because uh, it is a very useful and adds a ton of features on your website. Okay, it is easy. You can easily make custom headers and footers. Okay, using Elementor Pro. So I strongly recommend you purchase and install and activate Elementor Pro on your website. And I'm providing the link to purchase Elementor Pro down in the description below. Okay, so let me remove this button first uh, so I can uh, show, you, show you from scratch how to add this a button like this. Call us today, button like this. Okay, so let me pause this video and remove it. Okay, so I've removed the button. So let me just show you from scratch how to, uh, how you can add a floating button like that one, which I've showed you. So firstly, before you need to go to the back end of the website over here. So I already have Elementor and Elementor Pro installed on my website. Okay. So firstly, you go to templates and then you go to pop-ups over here then what you're going to do you are going to add a new pop-up and let me give a name for the pop create template okay so now you see that there are several templates you can do it from scratch but i'd recommend that you use a template okay so i'd suggest you in uh use this one okay over here let me insert this okay Okay, let me close it. Okay, so what you want, you want the button to be on the bottom left. Sorry, bottom right corner. Okay, uh, I would like the button to be on the bottom right. So you see this pop-up is already aligned on the right hand side, but it's in the middle. So I'm going to go to settings. You see the vertical alignment is set to the center. I'm going to align it bottom. Okay. Then another thing, let me just publish the pop-up so so i can see how it behaves okay uh add the pop-up add condition and i would want the so if you want the button to appear on the entire website then you should uh, choose this option entire site then i click on next then i would like the button to appear on page load okay then if you want the button to appear after a few after a few seconds then you can add the time but uh, i'd like the button to appear immediately after the page loads so i'll keep it at zero seconds okay now I, then i click on next then save and close okay so let me show it to you from scratch so let me refresh the page okay you see the this the this are the pop-up appears uh don't worry i'm going to add the button okay but if i click over here you see that it disappears but what I would like to do, I'd like to keep the button. Uh, but I would like to, if someone clicks outside the uh, pop up, I'd uh, I'd like to the to I'd like the button to stay where it is. Okay, for example, uh, so I need to let's if I refresh the page. So so if I click over here, uh, this goes away. Okay, but I need to make sure that it doesn't go away. So I would like the button to stay here okay to remain sticky or floating on the right bottom right corner okay 
to do that firstly what i need to do i go to advanced advanced and over here then uh, prevent closing on overlay okay uh, prevent closing on esk escape key okay so i am going to turn this to okay on okay then i click on update so this is very important so let me refresh it now if i click over here you see that it doesn't disappear okay so first part is done over, over here now let's go to settings and now i i would not like this dark overlay over here to appear when the button appears okay so i just like the button to uh, remain over here and not i don't want any kind of overlay over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn off this overlay okay turn off this overlay and i also not like any close but uh close button over here so someone can easily remove the button i would not like that <coughs> i'd not like uh, a website visitor to easily remove the button okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this close button i'm going to hide this okay then click on update let me refresh and see how it looks right now see no close button okay over here now let's just remove this because i only want the button not the form or this title okay okay then add a flexbox container okay fresh now what i'm going to do i'm going to add a button over here i can align it to the right okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to change the background color to be orange and then change the text to call us today maybe add a phone icon phone okay phone icon insert call us today and for the link if you want uh, if you want someone to book uh book a date with you or like you want to you want to in the link you can put a calendly link or redirect them to a booking calendar or something like that if you want them to book uh, book a call but if you want uh, them to call you i can put in this just type in tel and put in the number over here phone number so that it will initiate a phone call when someone clicks on the button okay let me refresh this okay so if someone clicks on it it will initiate a phone call okay so this is how you should put the tel colon and the phone number without any symbol dash or any kind of symbol just the number altogether okay then what i'm going to do let me so this you see this blue box i don't want that okay so to make it disappear let me go to settings okay height i'll just remove this height okay minimum height i'm going to remove this uh and i'm going to decrease the width okay as much as possible okay just keep it like this okay and then i don't like the blue box over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to pop-up color and just make it transparent okay great so now you see i have this button over here okay great now let me check okay you see that it's the button over here maybe i can make a few more changes maybe i can add a bit more height to it because it just goes to the bottom maybe i can add a bit more height maybe 101 pixels okay like this so there is a gap at the bottom okay let me just like this okay now it looks nice okay uh, maybe I can a bit do a bit more changes, uh, not for the pop up for the button. Let me set a hover color. Maybe green, I guess. Okay, so that it looks a bit better. Refresh. Okay, okay. Hover over and it turns green. Okay, so it looks good and let me check uh, finally check uh, the mobile and tablet version 
tablet so you see that the tablet uh, for tablet i also want it to align to the bottom okay so let me go to content let me go to no sorry not for the button for the pop-up settings uh custom so alignment should be bottom and height height i don't want that to be so height okay so i don't want the i want the height to be 100 pixels okay that's it and width width i guess and position should be on the right okay so width i can decrease okay i don't need the pop-up width to be that much that's fine okay and and so this is how it looks on the pop-up uh sorry on tablet and let me go to mobile on mobile you see it uh, it's like that but i want it to align to the right hand side okay mm, height let's decrease the height okay maybe pixels 100 pixels okay great okay so i think it looks fine on mobile right now and maybe on mobile you can try to make it a bit smaller i think the button would look better if i center align it on mobile okay so you see it looks better okay now i update it and let me just refresh the page you see this is how our this is how our floating button looks like okay and if i check it on uh tablet let me check it on tablet ipad mini you see this is how our floating button looks always remains over here okay and put in pro max okay okay but it gets a bit cut off okay let me just check what's the issue um maybe i should make a pop-up with a bit more so that it's a bit above okay so pop-up height okay let me just check on mini i okay now it's a bit better okay Okay, before it was a bit cut off let me check it on oh it gets cut off okay let's also fix it on mobile oh, let's <coughs> let's increase the custom height okay okay see it this button appears over here so maybe uh it's a bit to the right let me just increase the weight to 100 percent okay so that it aligns to the center okay you see now it aligns to the center okay call us today button floating button on mobile tablet and desktop all fine okay so this is how you can add a floating button in elementor wordpress so you need uh, the elementor pro plugin for it uh, if you don't have already installed elementor pro on your website then i would recommend that you get it immediately because it's very useful and it will save a lot of time not for only for this button but for other features as well and you won't need to install any additional plugins for every new thing okay so i hope that you found this video useful and if you did then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you